this is the next part of the fix up and uh, we will be fixing up the guide wheel so this is called the guide wheel so you need to take this out you need to take your chassis with the two motors and the wheels attached you will need two spacers two spacers like these these metal rods are called spacers why are they called spacers because they create space full stop and you'll need four count them one two three four four of these small little screws don't be confused with the long ones these are the short ones and needless to say when you have screws you'll need a screwdriver okay so this is what we're going to do first flip it upside down now you'll see that there are two slots here right beside the motors all right so let's slide these two wires up here a uh, couple of reasons one it'll help you get it out of the way so that it's easier to fix on your guide wheel uh, two later on what we are going to do is that we are going to put on uh, a second chassis on top here right so once you put on the second chassis it's quite hard to slide it up so it's just easier to do it right now so let's do it okay and we are done right so now we are going to fix on our guide wheel this nice shiny little ball here and uh, first we are going to put on our spacers right so now what you want to do is to kind of identify which holes you want to put the guide wheel in so these are the two holes that we're going to put our guide wheel in all right so identify there are four holes here we're going to place them at the two extreme holes there one front one back we're going to place them like this all right but we're not going to place it like this because obviously the guide wheel and your wheels which are attached to the motor is of a different height so we need to raise this fella up and how we raise it is by fixing up a spacer like this okay so once you have identified the holes we are going to remember the two extreme holes in in the four rows at the in a row we're going to place a screw here and we are going to just hand tighten it over here okay so this is the screw and we're just gonna hand tighten it like this done All right and we're gonna do the same for the other hole so we got the screw peeking out and we are going to take our other spacer and we are going to hand tighten it okay so now we've got our two spacers up what we're going to do is that we are going to attach the guide wheel on top of the spacers like so and how we're going to hold it down is by taking our next two screws and screwing it in okay it really sucks if you've got fat fingers here so what i like to do is that i just like to uh loosely screw it in the two holes before I take a screwdriver to it but uh, you know what in this case I'll would, I would just have to take a screwdriver to it straight away okay and we are done so this is what your finished product should look like with the guide wheel attached okay like so and it should be level 